So there's a bunch of videos out there showing how to remove broken bolts with things like extractors or drilling a hole and pounding a Torx bit into there or making a groove and using a flathead screwdriver and all these methods work but sometimes you break the bolts while taking them out because they're really crusty and none of these methods will work. I'm taking apart this 5 liter V8 to rebuild it and put it in this Ford Ranger and a lot of the, the fasteners are seized because they're rusty. And I'm going to show my favorite method of removing these crusted bolts. This bolt in my hand was real tough to take out and this broken one over here is also a problem and they're both non-original, non-graded hardware. Now again, there's plenty of methods to remove broken bolts. If there's still some threads showing, you can take two nuts, thread them on, jam them together, and remove the whole assembly, much like a stud. You can grab yourself a pair of vice grips, try to bite down on it, and rotate it out that way. But most of the time, when I encounter a broken bolt, uh, none of these things will work, and I don't even waste my time. I just go straight to my favorite method, which is taking a nut, grabbing my welder, and welding the nut to the end of the broken bolt. Gotta let it cool off and then try to back it out. But sometimes it will break on you. So we'll just try it again and you might have to hold the nut with a pair of pliers. Okay. No more messing around. This time I'm even going to put some tack welds on the back side and on the body of the bolt for more heat and strength. Now when you get your wrench on there and it starts to move, work it back and forth until it eventually comes out. 